Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to name alcohol molecules. You should then be able to classify alcohols into primary, secondary and tertiary alcohols. I'm showing you three alcohol molecules here. These are methanol, which has one carbon atom, ethanol, which has two carbon atoms, and propanonol, which has three carbon atoms. Now all of these molecules have the alcohol functional group. And the alcohol functional group is also called a hydroxyl group. Now all of these alcohols only contain the alcohol functional group. When we name alcohols like this, we start with the name of the alkane. So for example, methanol is based on the alkane methane. We then remove the final E and add the suffix ol. So methane becomes methanol. If necessary, we can use a number to show which carbon atom is bonded to the hydroxyl group. So I'm showing you here propan-1-ol and propan-2-ol. If an alcohol molecule contains two hydroxyl groups, then we call it a diol. For example, ethane-1,2-diol. In the case of diols, you'll notice that we use the whole name of the parent alkane, rather than dropping the final E. And remember to use numbers to show the positions of the hydroxyl groups. Alcohols with three hydroxyl groups are called triols. For example, propane 1, 2, 3 triol. Now sometimes a molecule will contain an alcohol functional group with another functional group, for example a halogen. In this case, we treat the alcohol as the parent molecule. So the name still ends with the suffix ol. And I'm showing that with 2 chloropropan 1 ol. However, certain functional groups have naming priority over the alcohol functional group. For example, aldehydes, ketones and carboxylic acids. And we'll be looking at those molecules in later videos. In these cases, the molecule's named based on the higher priority functional group. And the alcohol group is shown by the prefix hydroxy. For example, 3 hydroxy propanal and 1 hydroxy propan one OK, now we can classify alcohols into three categories. These are called primary, secondary and tertiary alcohols. In primary alcohols, the carbon atom bonded to the hydroxyl group is bonded to one other carbon atom. Examples of primary alcohols include ethanol and propan-1-ol. And methanol is also considered to be a primary alcohol, even though it does not fit the definition. In secondary alcohols, the carbon atom bonded to the hydroxyl group is bonded to two other carbon atoms, and a good example is propan-2-ol. And finally, in tertiary alcohols, the carbon atom bonded to the hydroxyl group is bonded to three other carbon atoms, and we can see that with 2-methyl-butan-2-ol. Now, whether an alcohol is a primary, secondary or tertiary alcohol can affect how it reacts, and we'll be looking at that in a later video. OK, so hopefully now you can name alcohols and classify them into primary, secondary and tertiary alcohols. 